Are you trying to kill me? How Prince Philip erupted at palace guest after nervy meeting. Prince Philip erupted at a royal palace guest during a Duke of Edinburgh award session five years ago. Prince Philip met with the public including journalist Jeremy Vine at Buckingham Palace. Mr. Vine explained that he had a bottle of water on his person and needed to put it down before shaking the Duke of Edinburgh's hand. However, the placement of the bottle received a vicious reaction from Philip. Speaking on Channel 5, Jeremy Vine said, I went to a Duke of Edinburgh Awards once. They allow people in and I got very nervous about meeting Prince Philip about five years ago. I had a bottle of water and I realized I shouldn't try and shake his hand with a bottle of water so I put it in the floor. He came and he talked to me a bit about Radio 2 and then he was about to step forward and put his foot on the bottle and he saw it and said, Are you trying to kill me? The revelation comes as the airing of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's bombshell interview would have been postponed if the Duke of Edinburgh had died, a friend of Meghan has said. U.S. breakfast show host Gail King said the couple's chat with Oprah Winfrey was recorded and scheduled before Philip was admitted to hospital in February. King made the comments on her Sirius XM show last Thursday after a listener called in to say the timing of the interview was terrible as Philip was receiving treatment when it aired. Just so you know, they had done that interview before Prince Philip went into the hospital, King said on her radio show. And if something, God forbid, had happened to him, the interview would not have run at this particular time. But the interview was done and was scheduled before he went into the hospital. But a lot of people have raised that point. Philip, 99 left the private King Edward VII's hospital in central London on Tuesday after a month-long stay receiving treatment. He was initially receiving care for an infection but then underwent heart surgery for a pre-existing condition. Speaking on her radio show, King said Meghan and Harry had been through so much over the past three years and really have tried to work it out privately. She added, they really have tried to get help, and nothing was working. So I think they wanted people to have some understanding about why they made the decision that they made and what they've been going through, and I do think that they accomplished that. I do. The Sussex's explosive interview saw them talk about the pressures of their former lives before they stepped down as working royals and moved to America. The issue comes as the airing of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's bombshell interview would have been postponed if the Duke of Edinburgh had died, a friend of Meghan has said. U.S. breakfast show host Gail King said the couple's chat with Oprah Winfrey was recorded and scheduled before Philip was admitted to hospital in February. King made the comments on her Sirius XM show last Thursday after a listener called him to say the timing of the interview was terrible as Philip was receiving treatment with the pair. Just so you know, they had done the interview before Prince Philip went into the hospital, King said on her radio show. And if something, God forbid, that happens to you, the interview would not have run at this particular time. But the interview was done and was scheduled before he went into the hospital. But a lot of people have raised that point. Philip, 99, left the private King Edward VII's hospital in Central London on Tuesday after a month long stay receiving treatment. He was initially receiving care for an infection but then underwent heart surgery for a pre existing Privately. She added, they really have tried to get help, and nothing was working. So I think they wanted people to have some understanding about why they made the decision that they made and what they've been going through, and I do think that they accomplished that. I do. The Sussex's explosive interview saw them talk about the pressures of their former lives before they stepped down as working royals and moved to America.